chair of the board of PCC, which is Puget Consumers Co-op, PCC Natural Markets. We are a co-op um, that started in Seattle about 50 years ago, 1953, as many of the small food co-ops did as a food buying group. But now we have grown to, um, which is a little bit outside the, the normal food co-op model, we have grown to over nine stores. We have two under construction and um, 45,000 members in the Seattle area. Seattle didn't have um, the neighborhood co-op development that many cities do, and so that was why PCC ended up opening stores in various neighborhoods. Um, as a large co-op, one of the larger food co-ops in the country, um, we're often asked, how do you stay connected to members? Where is the community element in the co-op? And we have found that the size enables us to do, to get to another level in showing that community and showing that values-based business to a broader audience. Um, you'll hear later in, um, in the day from our director of sustainability um, about s the way we do some of those things, the way we connect to the community. But our size and our visibility gives us the opportunity to connect with political leaders, to show how a values-driven business can be successful. And we like, and I'm personally very excited to see more and more businesses, um, even non-cooperative businesses, but generally large corporate businesses, paying attention to these values, to environmental stewardship, to community organization, to fair labor practices and fair trade practices. And um, I like to think that it's the co-op model and the co-ops being in this world initially that is dri driving some of the larger corporations to embrace some of these values.